Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. My allergies have been bothering me a lot lately. So if I sound a little groggy this morning, that's why. Good morning. It is Monday. We're doing a week of my life. I'm drinking a little bit of water and then I'm headed to the gym and the grocery store this morning. If you're new here, my name's Alexis. I'm 26. I live in New York City, currently in my kitchen. Lately, I've been using Mondays as kind of a reset day. I feel like most people use Sundays, but since I don't work traditional work week, I find Monday has been a lot better day to go grocery shopping and do my laundry and kind of run all my errands that a lot of people do on Sundays because it's not as crowded. Uh, today, we're just kind of getting some stuff done. I actually just switched this out for my water bottle. I'm obsessed with Simple Modern right now. I have like all of their things. I need to go get my grocery bags because I'm going straight to the store after. So let's do it. gym and the grocery. I went to Trader Joe's. Haven't been to Trader Joe's in like two weeks as usual. Let's do a little haul. Pretzels, more coffee beans, bell peppers, chia seeds, two lemons. My most exciting find was this organic lemon pasta. I think it's brand new um, and I am just obsessed with lemons lately, especially lemon pasta. So got this. This was also new, a French vinaigrette dressing. I've been having a lot of salads for lunch, so I think I'm going to try this. Indo beans, candied ginger, mini grape tomatoes, two onions, mini ginger shot, a clove of garlic, frozen chicken tenderloin breast, spinach, asparagus, this barbecue and black pepper Toscano salad, Brussels sprouts, carrots, this was new, a peanutty noodle bowl with chicken, mini mozzarella balls, hummus, and these mango and cream bars. Usually I'm like an orange and cream bar kind of person, but they didn't have that. I'm not the biggest mango fan, so we're gonna see. Um, I think I'm gonna like these though. Mango has been growing on me. Here's my haul, I'm gonna put it away. Did you take that on the subway? Damn. Brothers are away. I'm gonna make something to eat. I've really been into like chia pudding and smoothies lately, so I'm gonna make a smoothie. Lately, I've been making my smoothies with AG1, so this is the perfect time to mention that they are the sponsor of today's video. So thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. I've been doing a little strawberry banana action. Usually I do frozen strawberries and bananas, but I went crazy. I have fresh. And then I do almond milk and I do protein and I do a scoop of my AG1. I've been loving using AG1. I have never really been a breakfast person. I know we talk about this a lot. Like I have gone through my journeys of trying to cook a ton of different breakfasts, but I think the main reason I've never loved breakfast is because I feel like I'm not getting enough nutrients in. I feel like I've always never really loved breakfast because a lot of breakfast foods are too starchy or sweet and I'm not really loving it. So using AG1, especially in my smoothies or just drinking it plain is a great way to guarantee that I'm gonna get my vitamins in for the day. And it's been leaving me feeling a lot more energized. So my little smoothie recipe, banana. I should probably rinse these strawberries. Rinse and cut strawberries. Put my milk in. Did not realize I was this low on almond milk. We might have to add a little water my protein powder and then we're gonna do one scoop of my AG1 so if you aren't familiar with AG1 it's a science driven formulation of vitamins probiotics and whole food sourced ingredients that support our brain gut and immune systems all systems that I've been working on lately and some of the benefits it supports healthy aging it gives you your daily nutrients it supports gut health and it also supports immune defense and helps you with your focus and energy which are two things that I have been needing lately so I just take one scoop drop it in I, in the past, have always been one to put like spinach or kale in my smoothies anyways, so using AG1 is just a way more comprehensive list of nutrients that I'm getting, and it's very convenient. The amount of times I've gone to make a smoothie and my spinach is disgusting and wilted because I forgot to use it all week, AG1 is always ready to go. I also have these little single-use travel packets, which are very helpful too if I ever want to bring it on the go or if I'm feeling a little too lazy to take out my scooper. 
which I have been. Now I have my strawberry banana smoothie. Yum. This honestly tastes like pretty identical to some of my favorite green smoothies I get at like Juice Press or Juice Generation. But I make from the comfort of my home and I know that I have way more vitamins and nutrients. And as we're going into summer, I love drinking smoothies in the summer. So this is my perfect addition to my strawberry banana smoothie that I love so much. I also want to point out AG1 has a vitamin D3 plus K2, which is really good for cardiovascular health and supports your bone health. And so if you're interested in trying AG1 for yourself, I have a link in my description. You can click on that to get a free year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. So I'll put a QR code up here and I have a link in my description if you're interested and trying AG1 for yourself. So I want to thank AG1 again for sponsoring this video. While I'm drinking my smoothie, I'm also going to air fry some eggs, which I've never done, to hard boil them because uh, I want to make egg salad. That has just been calling my name. I have some toast I can put it on. I'm like looking up a recipe right now. Let's make some eggs. When I tell you I have never made egg salad before, this looks delicious. Yum, and that is so easy. The Dijon I've been using from Trader Joe's is very spicy. I need to get one that's not that spicy. That egg salad was delicious. I can already tell it's gonna be my new like obsession. Now we gotta do laundry. my laundry came back I had a meeting with my managers took a shower now I'm here I'm making this pasta and I am very excited for it I just made like a garlic lemon butter sauce for the lemon pasta because it's just like a hint of lemon I want it to be a little more lemony so added a lemon some lemon zest I added this olio olio seasoning blend I got a few weeks ago which I think has really just tied it all together. It's minced garlic, sea salt, parsley, red bell pepper, red chili pepper. Then I air fried some asparagus and then I air fried some chicken breast, tenderloin things, the frozen stuff, which I put some lemon on for a lemony dinner. Everybody. happy Tuesday I don't know what's going on outside do you hear that there's literally no clue it sounds like a truck or something it's another beautiful day outside it's gonna be 80 degrees today um, but I'm still not feeling that amazing I spent a lot of time outside this past weekend so I'm thinking I just inhaled way too much pollen but today's an editing day I also may want to go get my nails done and head to a few stores to pick out an outfit for something I'm doing tomorrow it's been a little bit I updated my calendar uploaded some footage didn't film any of it it's time for lunch. I'm gonna make a salad. Surprise, surprise. I know we're all shocked. I'm also gonna take this turmeric shot that I bought yesterday. I kind of hate that. I guess usually the shots I get have like ginger and cayenne in it. pulling myself together and we're headed to the store so I want to go look for a dress I'm going to a couple events tomorrow that are very exciting that we'll talk about in a little bit but I want to look a little nice so I want to see if there's like a fun dress I can wear because it's gonna be very warm tomorrow pulling myself out of the apartment we're gonna go on a walk we're gonna go to Zara maybe H&M if I can't find something I like at Zara let's get outside it's a beautiful day it's literally 81 degrees I'm gonna be sweaty I changed from my pants into shorts because my roommates informed me that it's very very hot so
bought something at Zara, but I'm just gonna pop into H&M just to make sure, maybe look for a purse. Ended up getting a dress from Zara, so I should hang that up. I think it's cute. I was gonna get black because I always get black, but my friend Maggie convinced me, I sent her my options, and she convinced me that this is way more seasonal. So we're just gonna hope I don't spill anything on myself. I also went to H&M looking for a fun colored purse, which I didn't find, but I found this dress, which I think is gonna be so pretty for my vacation I'm going on this summer. So I bought this because it was only $25. And then this shirt was only $9. I have no colored shirts, and I thought it was kind of cute. Got my nails done, got them yellow. Well, you can barely see it. They're like a very pale, pale yellow. Essentially, I'm going to an event with Linktree tomorrow, and it's very exciting because I'm gonna be on a billboard in Times Square. It's a ton of different creators that have done stuff with Linktree, uh, so I feel very lucky to be a part of it. We're all gonna go together and watch the billboard go up and take pictures in front of it tomorrow. So it's just, I have a lot going on tomorrow, but I'm very excited and I want to dress a little nicely for the occasion. Okay, we are doing somewhat of a working dinner because I just did not get much done this morning. I was kind of in a funk, but we're doing better now. I'm feeling great after my walk. Made the same thing as yesterday, heated it up, and now I need to edit a vlog and a brand deal. So, have my laptop. Let's get this done. It is 7.58 in the morning right now and I'm about to go on a walk. Emily and I are trying to start going on morning walks with each other to kind of get each other up and out of the apartment. Um, and today's the first one. So I'm up at a shockingly early hour for myself. I've just really been wanting to get up early and get stuff done. So I'm wearing these really cute shorts I got from Fabletics. I had a million credits because I kept forgetting to skip the month for Fabletics. And I got these shorts and they're very cute. We're gonna leave in like one minute, so gotta go. But just wanted to say happy Wednesday. I have a busy day today, but I'm gonna start it with a walk and going to the gym. So let's go. Good morning. I am back. Went on my walk, went to the gym. I am shockingly ahead of schedule right now, which never happens. And now I'm scared I'm gonna jinx it, but went to that new coffee shop again that I tried a few weeks ago. I got their iced coffee today. I've only gotten hot coffee so far because it's like an Italian espresso place. So it feels like hot coffee is, is the way to go. I got their iced coffee today. I don't know how they made it. It's in a hot cup, but it's like frothed and it is so delicious. So this is now a favorite of mine. This is very, very good. I just got it with almond milk, but the flavor is like perfect. You don't need to sweeten it. You don't need to do anything. This is like one of the best coffees I have ever had in my life. I'm gonna make some breakfast, take a shower. As usual, I'm running a little late, but here is my dress. I'm wearing it with some heels. It's so hot outside today, so. I think this is gonna be very cute. I'll explain more as we're going along. I'm just gonna film the day and we're gonna see what happens. So let's head to Times Square to be on a billboard. This is crazy. Funny. I'm like, have you ever seen me and Chelsea both in this room? Probably not. I brought Chelsea to my apartment. Uh, we have a brief intermission between our events and... I'm freaking out because I see this on the internet and now I'm like here, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Uh, she just met Bennett. Um, it is a million degrees outside. It is very hot. We went to our Times Square billboard. We went to the Burrito Bill. But we have a dinner tonight that we're going to and we have a little bit of time to kill in between. So I'm going to change to something not white because I realized that eating in a white dress at an Italian restaurant, probably not my best move. It's my brief update, but we were on a billboard in Times Square. Hey, How crazy so is surreal. that?
morning, everyone. Sweet, sweet sounds of construction. I got home last night at like 10.30 and I went right to bed because I was just exhausted. It was so hot yesterday. I think I was just dehydrated and I had to go to bed, but it's Thursday morning. I think it's gonna rain, which honestly we need. The humidity is insane right now, but me and my roommate, Zach and Emily, are currently walking to Pop-Up Bagel. Pop-Up Bagel is a chain that started in the West Village very specific kind of bagel. You rip it and dip it in the cream cheese. And um, they just opened one on the Upper West Side a few weeks ago and we've been wanting to try it. We are headed over to Papa Bagels to see what it's all about. In the West Village, this place constantly has a line like out the door. I've never been in the West Village, but my friend Maggie has, she loves it. So we're hoping since it's like a Thursday morning and it's about to rain, it's not gonna be super crowded, but we'll see. So I just turned onto a road that is very loud. So I'll talk to you when we get there. Well, if you haven't noticed, it's really dark and it started pouring down rain, our entire walk back. I luckily had a little mini umbrella, but it was the kind of rain where you still got wet. Zach and Emily, um, unfortunately, got pretty drenched. <laughs> but we all have to change. Oh my gosh, there's lightning. Oh God. I feel like it rarely like thunderstorms like this in the city. We were not expecting that. We thought it was just gonna be like a little rainstorm. Anyways, hope these pop-up bagels are worth it. Thankfully I had the umbrella or else our bagels would've been ruined. They give you a little cream cheese and then they just give you the bagel and it's really soft and you're supposed to rip it and dip it. It's getting darker. It is nighttime. This is crazy. This storm, it was a downpour, like everybody. It was a downpour. Oh, she's gonna. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, that's good. Ripping and dipping it. I didn't even rip it yet. Oh, there's a nice toast to them. <laughs> Put a nice consistency. Oh, that one's crispy on the outside. I love a crispy one. Well, this is my review. I would give Papa Bagels an 8 out of 10. I've said it once, I've said it again. The Upper West Side is pretty bad bagel places. So we've been needing a good bagel spot, but this isn't a traditional bagel spot. It's a bit of a different one. So it's kind of, I don't know. Different. Different. But the bagels on the Upper West Side that are kind of good are way overpriced. Bad. We're really? $9 yeah. $9 at Broad Nash for a bacon egg and cheese. Oh, but it's so good. Mm, but that's not the best I've had. My favorite bagel place in the entire city. Hudson Bagel. 47th and 9th? Mm. Fresh bagel. Yay! Okay, where have I been? I... I don't know. Oh! Oh, Bennett! Hi! I was home pretty much all day, but I was in a very weird mood all day. I don't know why. I just was like... Ugh, I don't know, you ever get in moods like that? My head was hurting ever since it rained. I felt like I couldn't really get much done. I edited a little bit and I had lunch and I went and I got a coffee again. Like I just, I was in a weird mood and I was honestly just gonna kind of wallow in that all night. But my friend Nick reached out and wanted to grab a drink with me and a few of my friends. So we all decided to go. I'm glad I got out of the house. Um, it's just like a gross sticky day and like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm feeling so off today. I was feeling weird. I'm feeling good now that I saw my friends and I kind of got out and about. I made dinner at home and I just got a drink while I went out, but we're back. Um, so we'll pick up the vlog again tomorrow. I think we're just gonna do Monday through Friday this week. It is currently like 8.15. Um, I'm about to head to the gym. Me and Emily have been doing our walks every morning, but she has to go to an appointment in a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the gym first and then we're gonna go on our walk. We're gonna start our day. I'm gonna head to the gym and go on a little walk and then we'll see where the day takes us. I have little to no voice right now. I don't know what's going on with that. So, okay, let's go. Probably my allergies as usual. That's the theme of this video. So Emily had an appointment and she's doing that. We walked together for like a mile and now I just went to Target. So I'm waiting for her and after her appointment's done, I think we're gonna continue the walk. We might go to a diner for breakfast because it's Friday. I just picked up a few things I needed at Target. I got a lot of sunscreen because it's Memorial Day weekend this weekend and it's gonna be hot. So got a lot of sunscreen because I burn. I am 
home. It's 12.30. I had a pretty full morning. Chugged a lot of water, went on a walk, went to the gym, went on a walk with Emily, went to Target, went to the diner. We also saw someone that recognized us from YouTube and um, I just want to say thank you for saying hi to us. Like that's always just so fun anytime someone sees us and says hi. So it was really nice to meet you. The rest of the day, I have a birthday party to go to tonight for a friend. She's having a birthday dinner and we're going out downtown. I need to edit a little bit um, to prep for my upload this weekend. I need to clean up. My room is a bit of a mess. Right now it's looking pretty clean from this angle except for like the random like clothes right there. I have a stack of clothes that has been brewing on my piano for days. Playing a little bit of piano because no one's home and I'm just missing mood. Wanted to work on my piano a little bit because I just I feel like I have not been playing piano as much. So I've been trying to make it a point to practice my piano and sing and play a little bit more, especially because I didn't have an audition or anything this week. So literally my my days the song My Days from the new Notebook musical is like all over my free page. I recently re-downloaded TikTok. It's been stuck in my head all day. So I'm like literally like plunking out chords, like trying to play it. Days to dream and days to shower because I want to wash my hair. I know I washed it two days ago but it just feels like it needs to be washed again so I also need to cut it soon but that's a whole other thing. My AC is on because it's just too hot to get ready without air on so if you hear that that's what's going on. I'm like in my outfit that I wore on Wednesday while I was getting ready because I always like when I take a shower before I go out need like a interim outfit in between. I have a little more time than I thought I did to get ready so not that much of a rush which is rare for me. Usually I feel like when I'm going somewhere I'm rushing to like dry my hair and get ready. So I decided to do my makeup kind of nice. I took a whole shower, I waxed my lip, moisturized, did some skincare, now I'm doing makeup. Like I love it when I have like a lot of time to just kind of slowly get ready for something and kind of do a little self-care with it. I'm ready. I got this top um, on Tuesday when I went to H&M. It was $8.99 and I never buy colors, right? Cause I sweat. I sweat all the time, but I decided to be brave. I felt like the way it was cut, like even through tank tops, I'm sweating. But the way this is cut, it felt, it all felt like it was gonna work out. And I'm wearing it with a skirt and I'm gonna do sneakers. We're going to my friend's birthday dinner and then we're probably gonna go out maybe do a little dancing. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna say bye now, but I'm still gonna film a little bit of the rest of the night. But I'll say bye now, just in case. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. So yeah, let's have my purse all packed up. So I'm gonna put on my shoes and head out. Let's go.